didn't find yet any specific um, artifact of the campaign, right? Right. We missed something. Probably. Does that mean they're assuming that you have all the artifacts already? No, I'm just guessing that probably we uh, no. we we, did, we missed some secret door or something in the previous. Well, I don't know. well, but you remember the rule: if uh, an artifact is not found and is needed, it will be uh, found fairly soon. Yeah. <laughs> I take that to mean that the artifacts will turn up, as opposed to, well, I don't think they really need that. It's like. Eh. <laughs> That would okay. So only the spirit blade comes back. That seems a little harsh. I used to put them back in the treasure chest that had no markings. They were for I used them for yeah. artifacts, past artifacts that were either lost or used up. Oh, but you know, there's also people that say the uh, the same artifact cannot be uh, given to the say to the group. Okay, but I think what is Spirit Queen Torment at the end, uh, I don't want to spoil which one, but it's even. Okay, yeah, yeah, the stay market, but. Some of them it says if you don't already have it, but other ones it doesn't say it. So was that a mistake? Mm -hmm. Or was that because they intended yes? There are oh, a few copies I mean, of this somewhere out in the kingdom. It can be, yeah, you can decide arbitrarily mm -hmm. which one is uh, an artifact that is unique. And all that can be in multiple copies. Yeah. Yeah, because um, like the magical throwing daggers and the spell scrolls are all artifacts, but they're consumable. Yeah. So, so like I said, it, like you use them up or whatever. Well, you can always find them again. And I've yeah, done that with the, yeah. ring, with the uh, the ring of blade. return, and also yeah. with the elixir of life, where you know we use it, yeah. use it over and over again. Yeah, but I would say the spirit blade is spirit blade is unique, or is one of the thousand spirit blade uh, limited edition branded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you get a spirit blade, and you get a spirit blade. <laughs> Look under your chair; everyone gets one. Check under your throne. Who doesn't have a spirit blade. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just made up. Well, is it? Oh man, I, my memory is faulty, but I want to say like you find it, it's like oh, that, it's actually like really cheap, and it just kind of looks like it, but it's not the real thing. You can tell right away when you pick it up. This is <laughs> every blade that's filled an undead is a spirit blade. <laughs> okay, so the new quest you're gonna start at the doorway. First, let me read uh, the message. Quest five. Yep. Not quest six yet. Quest five. Pandemonium in the streets. After escaping the dungeon. Let me turn down the music a little bit. Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. Check him out. Pandemonium in the streets. After escaping the dungeon, you continue your way to the cadre of the Raven's Vale. Whispers follow in your wake. As Argon's agents twist tales of your heroism into rumors of insurrection. Have we been duped into turning this civil war's bloody tide? You hear the barking of the Magus guards, doubtless trying to find you and send you back to your old cold prison cells. One of these doors must conceal allies who can hide you from their patrols. Find them, quickly. All right. So you begin at the door. And like another super stealth mission. <laughs> ah, funny you should mention that. Now let's see, start at the doorway. Your mercenaries are with you. You notice that they're all wearing disguises, and they encourage you to get disguised as well. So you find a cache of disguises. Would you like to put them on, wizard? Would you like to wear a disguise? Funny years. No one will ever recognize it. So you you uh, you all dress up like cosplayers, <laughs> different characters. It's yeah. Like, to hang out in Times Square. Okay, we've got Spider Man, we've got Mighty Mouse, we've got. Optimus all right. The, Prime. Uh, the, the the monk puts on the Clark, uh, the Clark Kent glasses, and the um, dwarf puts on the fake mustache. Ah, classics. Okay. All right. So we've got wizard, dwarf, 
uh, I'll paint on my cloak uh, the word Zargon is the best. Is this a furry mission? Hooray for Zargon. Hooray <laughs> for Zargon. <laughs> vote, vote for Zargon. It says vote for Pedro, but it's scratched out and it says vote for Zargon. Okay. Dude, Hornswog. Schmeck a little over it. All right, guys. Okay, so the quest begins at the door. Wizard, you're up first. Well, uh, let I right there and check the corridors. First way around. All right, the door opens, and you see a stone wall to the north. Mm -hmm. And you see a stone wall to the west. Let's see, where is it actually? Here. Again, okay. uh, searching for cracks. Okay. Uh, oh boy, they're gonna do this to me again. Hold on. Not you guys. The. <laughs> The quest. Um, no traps. You go, Jacer. I think you can tell that there's a uh, an area here. But you can't yet see Ooh. anything in it yet. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we delete the uh, the walls, right? The uh, the tile. Yeah. So there's no mm. wall here, so you could walk in. But I'm saying you only see stuff that's like right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but no traps were detected. Okay, the dwarf will move five spaces left. And search for secret doors. All right, no secret doors detected. All right, the... I guess the... Um, Arbalist will move six spaces and stand right in front of the dwarf. Okay, six spaces in front of the dwarf. All right. But that tile is not considered a room, for example, so it cannot be searched for uh, pressures, I guess. I believe so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's the Arbalist. Yeah, uh, uh, let me let me just double check because yeah, I um, every time they put that room there, I have to start thinking like, wait a minute, this is I got to think outside the box a little bit because it is different than your typical like room tile. The plaza, okay, and it indicates a large open air space in the city. Any room a plaza is placed over completely will not count as having walls. The plaza will effectively extend into the corridors. Cuts to other rooms without covering them completely. The boundaries of the plaza will count as walls. Along its borders with rooms it does not fully cover. Monsters in the plaza are inactive unless they are attacked or an undisguised hero or active monster enters your line of sight. Plaza cannot be searched for treasure. There we go. There you go. And of course, each quest may have their own little yeah, he, intricacy. You really feel like uh, he's an extended corridor. Yeah, I suppose. Whatever helps you remember it. All right, the monk will move nine spaces left. Nine, okay. Let's see here. All right, you get an uneasy feeling, but it quickly passes. Stay in character. And you see the room, well, not the room, but you see the, the plaza as an elven statue 
you also see several characters hanging out. You see a uh, Magus Guard. You see a door. Some dread cultists. Chaos Warrior. A zombie. And a Spectre. Oh. I guess you should be able to see a few more things. Beyond that, you see a stone wall here. And you should be able to see a door here. And that's all you see. Is that north edge open? As in, can they see down the hall to the center room? Yeah, so the way it works, pretend that these white walls, so this is a wall here, but this is not a wall. This is a wall here. This is not a wall. They can just walk right up to that door if they want to. Yeah, the center room, technically you could you could just walk over there. Yep. Just gonna move these cameras around a little bit. All right, the, um, I guess the glaive will move four spaces to the left, so he'll be next to the dwarf. And that will end my turn. Okay. Did the striker not get moved by anyone? Yeah, he definitely forgot to move it. I'll let you move him. Uh, yes, move we'll it front of the other uh, mercenary, maybe. Well, that's as far as I can get, because he can only go five. Yeah, okay, then. Okay. Yeah, so everybody's... <clears throat> everybody in your party is disguised, so... As far as they know, the monk is just kind of... He's just some guy hanging out. They kind of look up, and they kind of look back, like... No threat there. All right, heroes. Striker, Ted Striker. Do the inactive monsters still count as monsters for rolling to move purposes? Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say you can move your full movement around them. You might think, uh, they're like, hey, where are you running? <laughs> but actually, they're just like, move along, move along. You know, don't hang around too long. <laughs> yeah, move me in a straight line, 12 squares. Just passing through. <laughs> and the, uh, the strike here is going to move five square to the left. Could put some uh, rims on these guys to make them a little bit more visible, I suppose. All right, the dwarf will move uh, eight or nine squares to the left. Nine. 
Okay. And the arbalist will move uh, six spaces towards the dwarf. Or hold on a second. Four spaces. I'm back. Okay, so the arbalist there. All right, the monk will <laughs> Sorry. Um You can't use the techniques with the monsters? Or were there specific techniques um, that attacked monsters? I'm going to say if he uses any like combat-related ones, it's effectively going to break his disguise. Okay. Yeah. And he wants to use the one to search for traps and secret doors. Okay, so he's searching the corridor, or he's searching like this entire area? The, the whole... Yeah, the whole area because the other corridors already been searched for traps and secret doors I think he can do that and I'm gonna take a quick look at the disguise rules okay so you can use you can attack unarmed you can use dagger short sword hand axe or staff no spells you can only wear bracers and helmets for armor Of course, you can ditch the disguise and just use anything you want. Okay, so the monk is going to search that entire area. What's his dis what's what did you say his disguise was? <laughs> his disguise was Clark, uh, Clark Kent glasses. All right, so he's just kind of <laughs> walking around. He he occasionally like pretends to stumble. <laughs> Like, whoops, sorry. <laughs> he's got the he's got the staff out like a walking stick, you know. <laughs> it's kind of bumbling around. The monster's like, come on. <laughs> just, ah, it's an annoyance. Okay, he does not find any secret doors or traps. Okay. Um say in this area here. Alright, perfect. Uh he'll move to the left, uh, five spaces, and north, four spaces, so that he's in front of that closed door. All right. And the glaive will move six spaces left. And that'll end my turn. All right. Interesting. The elf is not here, but he knows the pinch technique for sure. <laughs> the Vulcan neck pinch. Very nice. All right. Let's see. Specter is going to kind of just one, two, three, four, five, six into that room. These cultists are just kind of there. Chaos Warrior stays where he's at. The zombie kind of won't moves there. Magus Guard walks over. One, two, Stand in front of the door. All right, hero's turn. Well, um, going to, to open the door by the side of the uh, mm. the monk. I'm gonna go over there for. 
first one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. All right, opening the door, revealing the room. Inside the room, there's a tomb. not really there okay and there is some more figures in the room here there's a dread cultist here two more specters skeleton right at the door the skeletons like yes <laughs> what do you want uh, step one the square top Skeleton seems to be staring at the monk. But... <laughs> the striker moves uh, one, two, three, four to the left, uh, one north. All right. Okay. Okay. The dwarf will move five spaces north. Alright. Magus Guard like puts his hand out like you can't you can't come this way. Alright. Uh he seems to have uh rolled up wanted poster in his pocket. He he looks at it, he looks up at you, he looks back, he puts it back in his pocket. Right, I got a question. In this plaza area, is it only the monster we attacked that becomes inactive, or do they all become inactive at the same time? I'm going to say if you take aggressive action against one of these monsters, the others may... May uh, take that as a threat and and come at you. I've got my own interpretation of how it works because I'm I was thinking like oh, you could just be like okay they all move off and then they all come back and then they just slaughter everybody, <laughs> but. I'm just going to say, hey, they're kind of milling around. You guys are in disguise. They don't really have any reason to think that you're a threat. They're just kind of there. All right, then the... The crossbowmen moves uh is he just moves towards the dwarf straight uh, up mercenaries can use the weapon without losing the disguise right but then every monster will attack that one mercenary or could attack that one mercenary. No, I, I, you know, just, uh, just want to understand this part. Yeah, that, that's why I, never, that's why I asked, because I was going to take a pock shot with the crossbowmen, since they don't lose their disguise, but I'm not going to try to kill a little zombie at the bottom of the board just for every other monster to attack him. Unless, Plus unless the, you, the Magus card. You either shoot from the dark. <laughs> from the darkness. Dark. Uh, 
like some Thief the Dark Project uh, tactics coming into mind in the old days. Uh, yeah. All right, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's worth it. All right, uh, I guess put the put the arbalist back where he was. Here. Uh. How was how he was there? All right, never mind. The uh, the striker's in the way. Oh, maybe not. All right. The cross... The cross... Uh, no, wait. It's not going to work. Uh, it... No, he, he's not going to attack. I mean... He could, I guess, but uh, all right. The crossbowman moves to the right five spaces, and then shoots a crossbow diagonally at the uh, zombie. All right, shoots the zombie. <clears throat> zombie just falls over. Oh, cool. All right. Close the chat box. And then, so that no monsters can attack that guy, I move. Oh, wait, no, the monk's turn. Got to roll for the call. Uh, okay, he uh, isn't sure what he saw there. If he saw anything at all, he just kind of glances the other way. All right. The Chaos Warrior kind of like looks over sees he sees the uh the zombie has fallen over all right yeah they fall down all the time they're zombies <laughs> uh, all right the the monk doesn't do anything at this moment And the the glaive moves one space to the right. And that'll end my turn. All right. All right, the cast warrior moves over to where the zombie fell. Okay, he's heading over to the where the Magus Guard is. Alright, these cultists are going to move. One, two. Alright, the skeleton moves. One, two, three. Specter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Spectre moves over here. Okay. All right, hero's turn. <laughs> Stred cultists are annoying. Zombie dies of rare illness called hero arrowed knee. Upgrade a monster. Ah. Oh, that's what he said when he went down the zombie. Punching <laughs> <laughs> arrow, it took him to knee. That was an adventure just like that you. Dear. If we serve him to reset the room. Okay. One square. So the uh, all the monsters inside the room didn't attack because we are in disguise. 
Yeah, you're still in disguise. Yeah. The skeleton um, says, what do you want? But we cannot search for anything because... Uh, oh, the, the dread cultist uh, tells you to leave immediately. Or suffer the consequences. Well, I offer a drink to the, uh, the ghost. I give him a bottle of uh, holy water. <laughs> are, are you really going to do that? <laughs> That's hilarious. You. Go ahead. Uh, it'd be an uncommon feat. Go for it. Let's see if he's going to drink with me. Drink a grog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll your one combat die. Cheers. <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh. Uh, one. Right. Yeah. No. The uh, the ghost kind of shakes its head. <laughs> like, oh. Well. Here, drink this. I'll put air in your chest. That would have been so funny, though. <laughs> like, <all right. laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, are you sticking around? Well, didn't want to drink the uh... the holy water disguised as grog. So I'm, I I look at him very offended and I splash it in his face. <laughs> all right. So you use the holy water on the specter. Ah, destroy yeah. <laughs> the uh, the other two monsters in the room are like, uh oh. So it looks like they're uh, they're ready to ready to fight you at least. You haven't blown your disguise, but they think, okay, whoever this guy is, who does he think he is? You know, throwing holy water on one of our ghouls here. Okay, so after the wizard. Dwarf. Oh, I should change my... I forgot to change my threat thing. Because those get reset. My bad. Jacer got a 10. Yeah, the skeleton and the cultists haven't seen you yet, but they don't like the look of the wizard at this point. Ah, yes, I totally forgot this. The uh, striker just moved uh, two squares to the left. And one square north. Yep. I should I should start reminding you, sorry. No, it's my bad there. Alright, the the dwarf is going to move I guess just above the tomb. And attack the cultist with the short sword. All right. He's like, hmm, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Suddenly you draw a blade. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, roll your dice. All right, you cut him down. The skeleton takes notice. Uh, no, the the dwarf was supposed to be above the tomb and attacking. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, and then the monk. That's when 
the stuff is like right on the line. It's harder to get it right. Uh, the monk has four. He's gonna go. It's technically. Guess three. Like th everything. Three left, and he's gonna attack the skeleton. Unarmed or with a weapon? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm going to go on arm. Okay. One black, one white. Oh, missed. Missed, okay. And then update the title. That's update gonna the title that's here. gonna end my turn. The two mercenaries are staying where they're at. Okay. Alright, so the skeleton <laughs> was none too happy about that, and so he uh is gonna take a swing at the monk. Two skulls. Monk. Ching. No damage. I picture the heroes like quietly closing the door. <laughs> like, eh, nothing going on in here. Nope. He seems to have just fainted. <laughs> Was an honest mistake, okay? Yep, yep. Honor demanded it. Okay. All right, other monsters. Let's see. All right, Magusgard is going to walk over one, two. He says, what's going on in here? Celebrating. <laughs> it's like weekend at Bernie's. Like, uh, oh yeah. It's Argo's birthday today. Oh yeah. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Alright, and the Chaos Warrior is going to move. One, two. Spectres. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Spectre sees that its master is not there. Sees the monk and attacks. One skull. Ching. No damage. Alright, other specter moves. One, two, three, four. Five, six. and attacks the monk. Three skulls. Ching, two damage. I guess I'll use Twisting Turret. You can certainly do that without rising suspicion. <laughs> you kind of fall on the ground. How did, and how did the two specters become hostile when we're like in a separate room where they couldn't see? Well, they were they were wandering back in and they see the dread cultus is is uh, gone, <laughs> and they get suspicious. That's my reasoning. 
Alright, so you took no damage. Alright, and so now he's got two techniques used up. What was the other one he used? Oh, the... Uh, the, the searching one. Uh, the earth. Secret of Stone or something? Yeah. All right, and then these cultists are just kind of going to kind of hang around. None the wiser. All right, hero's turn. Okay, so look in the eye of the uh, of the Magus guard. I raise my callus and say, "For oh, the one they are not here and throw behind me." And only water. Where are you throwing the holy water? Yeah, behind me. <laughs> <laughs> All <right>. Cheers! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Slinging it like directly in his face. All right, so the holy water is used up, and you've destroyed another of the <laughs> specters. Excellent. Anything else, wizard? Don't forget about your mercenary. Always forget the mercenary. The mercenary can enter inside the room and attack the um the skeleton. Alright, he walks up, One. but the Magus Guard is, is standing ah, in his way. Ah, I cannot, cannot pass there. <laughs> what should we do? Stealth we kill, do boss. <laughs> He, he kind of motions to you, yeah, like, yeah. should I take him? I'll yeah, kill the boss now. I totally forget I cannot pass through the monster. So. Moves uh, one square to the right, three square north. There. Alright. He's still motioning to you, like, should I take this guy? Should I take him? <laughs> I'm going to start chatting with the uh, the chaos uh, warrior. Oh, distract! Thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> so they start chatting, and the uh, the chaos warrior is like looking around for the wanted poster. You're like, ah, you, you don't look like that guy. Uh, eh. Thank you, Sand Swift. Oh, okay, sir. All right, another monster comes out of the shadows. Famir. All right. The dwarf moves north to two. Make sure that the uh, the wizard is blocking the Magus guard's view and stabs the skeleton. All right, go for it. Yeah, I'm just talking here with uh, alcohol and uh, beverages. <laughs> One. Down goes the skeleton. Yeah, stealthy. I mean, it's hard to stealth kill a, a skeleton anyway. I mean, the bones go clattering everywhere. It's like, whoops. It's like you're in a museum, you accidentally knocked over the display. <laughs> you're clumsy. Right. The the crosswoman is going to shoot the cultist that's next to the statue. Yes, he's that good. He can do that. All right, three dice. Him down. The other All cultist right. looks, uh, looks like nervous, like back and forth. <laughs> that the uh, the crosswoman will take one step to the right.
Alright, the monk will... He'll attack the... The specter. Alright. What's he attacking him with? Uh... Barehanded. I guess he doesn't have any magical weapons, so. Uh, what are the faces of the purple dice? Yeah, good question. Just grab one of those here. Okay, we got skull, two skulls, a double skull. White shield, double white shield, and double black shield. So same chance of a skull as a regular die, but it could be a double. All right, then. Well, the skulls don't matter. All right, so I'm going to go with the oh. purple die. So I'm going to use the short sword. That no, way I, I can I hear what you're saying. get two hits on them. The yeah. black shield could be a double. Yep. So I'll, I'll use a uh, short sword. So it'd be one purple, one white. Yeah, gotta think about that. Hitting the specters. Okay. So you didn't score any black shields, so you didn't didn't hit him. Didn't do nothing. Alright. Just kinda warped out of the way. Alright, uh the monk will move one space. I guess don't really yeah, I can't block him in anyway. Uh, I'll just move one face to the right. I'm missing all Bohemius' jokes. <laughs> Can't hold their liquor. Okay, one space to the right. All right. Yep, that's it. And, uh... Glaive. He's gonna stay there and block line of sight just in case the uh, cultist gets froggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good idea. Okay. All right, Magus Guard has uh, had enough of this. He draws a sword and takes a swing at the wizard. Two skulls. Two damage. Ooh. Two damage, okay. Wizard goes down to two. Let me just see if he can alert the others. Yep. He yells out, hey! We gotta get this guy. All right. So the Chaos Warrior leaves his post. One, two. Now he attacks the wizard. Three skulls. Ah, one for each player. Thank you. Okay, so bonus potions. Sorry, I was a little late. I uh, I set up all my alerts and they're just not working. So I just happened to look at the chart there. Ching -ch ching. Okay. Wrestling move. Wrestling move. Potion of strength. Uh, potion of magic resistance. And potion of frost oh. skin. Well, we don't have the barbarian yet, so I'll redraw that. How about fire resistance? Okay. So we said one for each player. So who wants the uh, potion of strength?
And who wants the magic uh, resistance and fire resistance? I, I think I think the uh, the dwarf better with that potion. With the strength? And with the strength. Okay. Uh, I'd rather the the dwarf has one. I'd rather give it to the monk. Okay, give it to the monk. I'll get um magic resistance, you get you have you know, which one of of the two? The one for the effect or the one for the damage? Oh yeah, one's for uh, which one? One's for damage. Which one we draw? And one's for fire. One's for damage, one for fire. For so I don't know if you want to give me uh, they're one. Both, um, they're they're both useful against the Magus Guard's fire attack. Exactly, so either one. Exactly. But I already got one, so if you get the other two is better. But since uh, it's distribute one of each, I get I get the uh, the one of fire resistance, and you give the uh, the other one to the dwarf. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So fire resist to the wizard, and dwarf gets uh, magic resistance. Yep, and, and that's for damage, right? Damage. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a stealthy, stealthy mission at the beginning. I don't understand which one you give it to me. Uh, the wizard, okay. I gave him fire resistance. Fire resistance. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Abomination is right here. No, it's better because you can use it also for uh, save the damage for, uh, from the home. It's called the Channel in Red of the, uh, of the Ghosts. Yeah, mm. I, I treat those monsters as equivalent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because these guys have magic. These have magic, so do the cultists. They all, they all have it. Okay, where were we? Okay, so I did, uh... Yeah, you got the wrestling move. Okay, so what's your wrestling move gonna be? Against the Chaos Warrior. <laughs> it's okay, Fubar. I know a lot of people, uh, just kinda half listen while they're doing other stuff. Bohemius, I didn't hear which uh, wrestling move you wanted. Uh, you can uh, draw cards, sorry. Or I had a suggestion. <laughs> Maybe he he hits cool. him with the uh, brass knuckles, but he does it in such a way that it looks like he like slips it back into his pocket. <laughs> like it, it's like <laughs> <laughs> soccer, soccer yeah. hit, hits him with it. So the referee doesn't see it. Klein. Okay. Let's see if the cultist reacts. Okay. All right, so the cultist is going to go over one, two, three, and cast uh, Channel Dread against the wizard. But it's not fire. Okay. Okay, so I rolled a four. So that means one body point of damage. Okay. Against the wizard. It's down to one. Alright, the abomination moves or the Femir. One, two, three. He's only got one eye. He didn't really see what was happening. Alright. Let's 
see, did I already move the specter? Destroyed one. No, you didn't move the specter. Okay. You started with the Magus card and then the uh, Chaos Warrior and then he got the wrestling move and then the cultist saw the wrestling move while defending and yeah. then became active all right the uh specter is going to cast uh channel dread on the monk to resist so no, no damage One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, hero's turn. I'm going to attack diagonally, the cultist. No. Ah, uh, the staff. Missed. Looks like you were just you were just swatting a fly <laughs> on him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he had a little something there. He's not amused. Moving uh, one square to the south, one square to the left. Striker. Yeah. Moving one square to the right. Three square uh, south. One square uh, to the left, yes. And attack the uh, Magus guard. Alright, go for it. Four dice, by the way. One. And a wrestling move. Okay. Alright, what's your wrestling move gonna be? Uh, draw, pick a card, any card. Stinger Splash! <laughs> <sighs> Woo. So you run up, ah, bam, get him in the corner. It's two hits. Okay. Hold me, sir. Save me. You're on my. You're my only hope. <laughs> Mighty dwarf. All right. The dwarf will move to the doorway and. Attack the Chaos Warrior. Alright, what's he attacking with? Uh. Oh, okay. He's gonna attack with a hammer. <laughs> Alright. So one black, one white. I mean, he might have been, you know, repairing something, you know. It's not necessarily like two skulls. We're trying to repair the damage from the party, and then these people started attacking us. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I was trying to knock those dents out of your armor. <laughs> it's like I hit you too hard. So the Chaos Warrior crumble, crumbles to the ground. All right, the the mercenaries. Yeah, the crossbowmen. Maybe 
three, three spaces left. Okay. And then um, I'm going to try to shoot the specter. Yeah. You can hit him. Of course, not only black shields are going to work. Ooh. One. One. Okay. Let's see, and I defend with three. Got him. Awesome. It's just solid enough to be able to be hit by a bolt. Alright, Glaive. Is he going to do anything? Uh, well, the Glaive's with the, the Monk. Oh. But, um, the Monk will move... I don't have a gold, uh, another gold uh, rim, so I didn't use one. Does the... Does the monk see any monsters from where he's at? No. Okay, so his abilities reset? Yes. Correct. And... It's actually a really swell tactic because <laughs> you just get all the other heroes in the way and then get them back. It's line of sight. Yep. All right. All right. The monk will move two spaces to the right and try to knock out that cultist. All right. Hand to hand. Yep. All right. Nothing. Missed. All right, the glaive will move four spaces left and two spaces north, and I'll attack the Magus Guard. All right. One. Let's go. Got him. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, it makes it your turn. And I'm sure that one eye saw something now. <laughs> yeah. Well, the monsters in the plaza were taken by surprise for a lot of this scenario. But now they're getting suspicious. <laughs> if they weren't already. Okay, so let's see. Still got that. Check my cards here. Okay. The cultist is going to use dread lights against the monk. So it surrounds one hero in the spellcaster's line of sight with eerie tongues of ghostly light. All monsters roll one additional attack die when attacking the affected hero. The spell can be broken at once, or at the start of the hero's turn, or at the start of the hero's future turns by the affected hero rolling one red die. Roll five or six, the spell is broken. Yeah, I should have said future turns. So that wasn't necessary. Okay, so he cast that on you, and now the Femir is going to move one, two, three, and attack the monk. Yep, I, fa I failed to break it at once, so. Yeah, and he didn't get the magic resistance. Okay, three skulls. and you take one damage. All right. I'll use Twisting Turret. All right. Using his water technique. 
The attack lands upon him like water. Just does not. The monster is like shocked. <laughs> okay, hero's turn. Oh, I should have rolled an extra. I f totally forgot. Should uh, update the uh, threat. Wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. On the screen. What's that? You should have pre update the uh, threat meter. On the screen. Did somebody Just, buy me. You, uh... know, you you don't start with some. Uh start no. With zero. Uh, no 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 I. At the beginning of the quest, I forgot to erase it. I The way I've been playing it is I reset it each time. Okay. Yeah. Because people people buy me stuff, but it's like they don't necessarily know what it's going to be. Only I know what it is, you know, whether it's going to be worthwhile or not. And it, then it's up to me to yeah, actually I use it. Yeah. I thought you can get, get them from a quest to the other. Yeah. Well, there is one way to play that way with uh, the combat cards. But mm -hmm. I'm choosing to do something a little different. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. So the wizard is going to uh, search for traps. Okay. Search for traps in the room. No traps. I got a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, the dwarf skill cards. I didn't. Oh. I don't know if you drew them or if I just. I forgot and didn't write it down. No, no, I forgot. You, you even told me, and I just forgot. Okay. Sorry. You could have been using them this whole time. So Mighty Blow and Slip. Sorry about that, Jacer. No problem. Mighty Blow and Slip. Yeah, so cross out whatever you had left from before, and these, well, I guess you just had luck. So Slip, Mighty Blow. I, I used both of them last quest. The luck and the keen hearing. Okay. The luck I used for the first log trap. <laughs> of course you did. Yeah, usually I, I try to take photos of the uh, character sheets and share them with everybody ahead of time, but I just, I just didn't get to it this time. So, thank you. Okay. No problem. All right, so we got that squared away. All right, so what are you guys going to do? Well, somebody bought you a card. <laughs> <laughs> they heard that I didn't have any threats. OK, thank you, Fubar. Yeah. Now I get to draw one. My bad running my mouth. Yeah, it's, well, you don't anyway. Have, you don't have anything to <laughs> yeah. practice with. No, it threw me back. too because he said, "Let me check my cards," and I'm like, "Well, the dread cultist used one card, so there should only be one card." So I didn't know what cards he was referring to either. I should have said, uh, "Ah, now it comes." <laughs> There's something silly oh. he says in the app. He's like, "Voices of dread, come to my aid." <laughs> now we're talking. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dark Forces. I'm thinking the smear. With a uh, recipe. Ah, okay. <laughs> Want another card? Of course. Doesn't have to be a sleeper hold every time. Razor's Edge! <laughs> Alright, and it's the cultist, you said? No, uh, with the mercenary. So I'm attacking the... Um... Yeah, I'm oh, taking the, the Femir. The striker at the Femir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Does he get him? Bam. Alright, so he's... He gets up dazed. Okay, bonus treasure search. So you've got two bonus move, treasure uh, searches. Alright. Move inside the room by the side of the... Uh, the wizard. On this side of him or on the other side? I, either way is fine. That's it. Okay. Alright, and I do need to update the threads.
skill for, for Bohemius' wizard. All right. Thank you. Careful aim. That's for the wizard. Amazing. <laughs> Dagger thrower. Can you use that careful aim when using genie? No. Yeah. He's the genie punching somebody. I don't think he's a... Uh... <laughs> he's a ranger. <laughs> He's throwing the well. You, you could say, well, maybe you're the, aiming at the right monster, I guess. But the genie sits on his shoulder and like shoots like bolts at him, or does the? <laughs> I picture the genie just running up to the guy, just like clobbering him. I really, I, the same. I always imagine, okay, the genie going close to the monster, grow his hand uh, like ten sizes yeah. bigger, lap him. Shaquille O'Neal wearing uh, flashy clothes. <laughs> Um, Robin Williams oh. animated form. No, that's fine. I can Will use Smith. it with my. That's not canon. With, with my crusty uh, knives, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll definitely use so, it with the oh, trusty fine. daggers. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think. Okay. Jacer. Alright. Uh, I rolled for movement already for the dwarf. And I'm going to go just south of the, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, to the right of the Femir. And I'm going to attack him with the hammer. Right. One black, one white. Two skulls. May, may not be the hammer of Hadrika, but it's uh, pretty strong. Nothing to sneeze at. Got him. All right, the crossbowman moves one, two, three, four, five spaces north and shoots at the cultist. now Twing. one skull, one skull. One skull. Uh, goes down got him all right they look around no more monsters Right, the um, monk takes, uh, well, his techniques refresh, and he'll take two steps into the room with the tomb, and search for, uh, do a search for treasure. Alright, you need a bonus search or a regular? Uh, I'll, I'll use a bonus search first. Okay. One bonus search and one regular search. Thank you, Sand Swift. Okay, you find a small wooden box, and within it, 50 gold coins worth of jewels. 50. Okay, and you're going to do a regular search or another bonus search? I'll do a regular search. Okay. Wandering Monster! <laughs> Of course. All right. Oh, gets them every time. Okay. Let's see what it is for this quest. All right. Spectre rears up and attacks. All right, one skull. And I got to roll for the bonus monster here. Okay. 
All right, I kill him. <laughs> a wrestling move. I wrestle the specter to nothing, and he dies. <laughs> All right, you just you just like you grab him and you're like wrestling him and wrestling him. <laughs> like he's he's just fading away, and then it's just nothing. Like okay, got him. Now, if only and that would happen every time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, every, every time, just instant kill the wandering monster. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, all right. So nothing in the tomb. All right. The glaive will move two, three, five, no, four spaces north, and stand next to that closed door. All right. Or uh, one space to the right, so he's like next to it diagonally. Yep. Okay. Do I see anything else down that hallway? Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the swordsman would have seen it when he was up there. All right, yeah. good. Yeah. Your well, turn. It's a good thing you ask, because sometimes I forget how big, especially with these plazas. Okay. All right. My turn, you say. Okay. All right. The tomb was empty, except uh, for a skeleton inside. <laughs> Ah, jumps out. Okay. The monk should roll to see if uh, dreadlights is still affecting him. Jacer, you just hug that cloud to death. Yeah, uh, and I was saying is you, sh uh, I'm gonna say is you should have rolled the extra die with the specter, but it wouldn't have mattered because I rolled three shields. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Three still affected. Yeah, if I put it over here next to his stuff, I'll remember it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hilarious. Yep. Okay. Hero's turn. Oh, uh, attack this skeleton. Alright. Cool. Ching! No damage. We'll never get better at this. Uh, well, the, the uh, striker can move and attack. Oh. One skull. One skull from the striker. Got him. It's worth the money paid. Your job striker. Just keep. Yeah, they're definitely worth the money in this quest when you're in disguise. They, everybody rolls more dice than you except the scout. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you go, Jacer. Alright, the dwarf is going to go four to that center room and open the door. Alright, opening the center door. And as we know from Hero Quest, nothing interesting is ever in that center room. 
It's usually it's uh, no big deal, right? Never. Yeah, except when it isn't. Okay. So inside you see a table and a closed door. And you also see some creatures. Spectre, Cultist, Magus Guard standing right in the doorway. Another Spectre, another Cultist. All right, the Magus Guard uh, looks at you, well, you can't really see because he's got a visor on, but I mean, he, <laughs> he points his uh, his head in your direction and he uh, puts his hand to the hilt of his sword. Like, like, you know, you're not coming in here. All right, then I will take uh, three steps to the left. One, two, three. Okay. Down the hall, you see some stuff. Okay, you see a closed door here. And you see a stone wall to the north. I'll search that hallway for traps. You don't detect any traps, but you see that uh, there was like an old remnants of an old mechanism that uh, didn't go off from a long time ago. Doesn't look like it's any threat at this time. All right, the. The cross or arbalist will move all the way to the left and then north one and stand in front of the Magus guard. All right. Uh, the monk will roll search for, search for secret doors. Okay. Yeah, you should also roll. See if you get a five or six. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No secret doors detected. Nope. Right, we're still still affected. Of red lights. Um, the monk will move one space north of the dwarf. Did he roll an eight? Uh, oh wait, uh, I got a. I didn't roll movement. <laughs> I I don't. I didn't think of him as hostile monsters. Well, sorry if I didn't give the impression that that Magus guard is is uh, he means business. He's got his weapon out. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. I thought like he meant move along. My, I misunderstood no. that. I should have said that once the arbalist got in his face. I mean, he's just like, okay, that's it. Shing. All right. Um. Then. He doesn't know who you are, but he's ready. Right. I, I thought like if we didn't enter the room or try to attack, that yeah, I then I sacrificed all the mercenaries for no reason. Oh well. Uh, I guess it's your turn. You can kill me now. <laughs> Well, when you put it that way, I did. Um, well, I did. I didn't know. Otherwise, the dwarf would have just put it, just stood there and yeah. taken. Well, okay, okay. So, I mean, he's suspicious, but you haven't actually attacked him yet. 
so there is that. No, that's why I was. That's why I sent everybody around the corner. Okay. I, like I, I misunderstood what you said. Or here, how about this? We'll decide with the dice. All right. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Then the merc. Then the mercenaries are safe, I guess. <laughs> My turn. And by the way, if uh, anybody in the chat, we've got uh, one more hour left. If anybody wants to jump in as a hero, we've got a slot open. Uh, someone could take the Barbarian, for example. Okay, so the Magus Guard is just going to kind of stay there, standing guard. This, uh, let's see if the other monsters are interested. So this cultist tells the uh, specter to start moving. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's going to move. One, two, three, four. All right, that's it. Heroes. Uh, move for one square north. You already searched this room for uh, There's a uh, bonus for... search left. No, I was asking to Jay sir if he searched this room for uh, secret doors. Uh, he yes. lost that part. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the monk searched uh, before he left. I'm going to give the um uh portion of warmth to the uh, mercenary. And um, search for treasures. Okay. Bonus search or regular? I'm like, let's do the regular search first. <laughs> then the. One uh -huh. monster. <laughs> of am, I, am I like a, a card magician? No, no, I'm not. It's just. Okay, you got a wandering monster. All right. Spectre. Good. Pops up. Tax. Well, at least you got the same thing I got when I searched that room for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Three skulls. He does all my attack? Yeah, that's his normal attack. Alright. One, two hits. Oh, he goes down unless he's got something to save himself. Which I know he does. Three, one to six. For sure. All right. Roll. Let's see what you get. Five. Five. Okay. So you max out at four. One D six. Okay. He's alive. Phew. All right, and then uh, the striker. Uh, well, the striker move one square north and attack. Right. Wasn't too happy about what happened to you. Nope. Nothing. Oh yeah, because only black shields. All right, he swings, but the monster just keeps like warping out of the way. It's flickering. It's frustrated. It's like, ah, can't hit him. All right, Jacer. Right, dwarf has a five. Uh, this 
dwarf's going to move, I guess, one space south of the arbalist. The mercenaries, or I guess the uh, yeah, the arbalist. All right, three spaces south, and he's gonna shoot diagonally into that specter. Ah, uh, two, three. And he missed. All right, monk. The monk. I'm gonna roll for movement. And you should also roll to resist the dread lights as well. All right, four for movement, and ah, he breaks free. All right, cool. Uh, four. I yeah, all right, I guess uh, he'll stand in the doorway. Magus guard uh, had previously put away his sword. He draws it again and says, <laughs> you better watch out. All right, then I'll pull out my short sword and stab him. <laughs> All right, go for it. Score to hit. All right. Uh, the glaive will try to do the same. All right, one skull. Fight like music going. Okay. Ching. Okay, so no damage. No. The glaive will move three spaces to the left. And now it's your turn. Alright, so this, uh, this specter sees what's happening and decides to attack uh, with Channel Dread. So I don't think that has affected, well, the Dread Lights is gone anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered, but uh, Channel Dread against the Monk. One. No effect. Good, that's good. Wait a second. I'm wrong. Okay, so it should have been plus one because it was next to the. Uh... Oh, but it still would have been two. Still would have been no effect. Yeah, I forget that when it's next to another monster, it gets a bonus. But still not enough to actually do anything. Okay, 
Um, but I could move this this one over here. One, two, three, four, five. cultist also saw what was happening and tries to cast channel dread against the monk with one let's see has to be adjacent so it just gets one one extra two plus one is three still no no effect Monk is strong-willed. <laughs> he definitely is. All right, so that leaves the Magus guard. Swing at me, or Let's see, he's thinking. Well, he seems to resist. You know what? I've got some magic better than you. Let me try this. So he uh, does ball of flame. The monk, so the monk rolls two dice for see if he resists it. Fire attack against him. Three to five, so one is resisted and one hits him. Alright, so I'll use twisting turret. Ah, the water puts out the fire. No damage. Alright. He's like, what? Alright, heroes. Uh, you still have the other specter. Not interested. Just kind of floating there. Awaiting orders. Okay. Uh, kill it, Bohemius. Kill it. <laughs> If you're a wandering monster, kill it. I don't know. Can I? Still gonna affect me. You know about me. Weird. So. If I use the uh, the torch, is it going to uh, break my uh, disguise? Nah, I don't think so. Going to burn uh, this uh, this ghost. <laughs> going to use. All right. It's still one uh, one dice of attack, right? Yep. But it's very uh, <laughs> cinematic. <laughs> yes. Very cinematic. Yeah. Go away. As the dread lights go down in the city, <laughs> and the dread moon rise. What is called? Yes! It works better than the, the, the knife. The day. <laughs> Who are singing? Okay. Ching! Never mind, I don't hit. Because I need to. Uh... <laughs> Oh, you I, don't, I, you only right. hit on the um, I didn't have on a roll. black shield anyway. Yeah, I was distracted I by the bar I, I, need the, I, need the, I need the black skull. Yeah. Unless the fire. <laughs> it wasn't magical <laughs> fire. No, you're right. It's not magic fire. You it's not the magic wizard. Fire. The wizard would have the ability to make a magical torch if you wanted to, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to. See, Fubar distracted me with yeah, his uh, to... song. And I'm going to move three square to the right, one square to the north. Okay. Mercenary. Quick attack. Zero. Ah, I failed again. Yeah, they're hard to kill. And he's going to move uh, close to the uh, the wizard. One. South and four, right there. You go. Okay, I guess yeah. right where you wanted him to be. Okay, dwarf. Let uh, me roll for movement.
right, six. I'm gonna move five spaces to be on the left side of the specter and I'll try to smack it with a hammer. Oh, one. One black shield. Got him. Okay. All right. The, Ar the Arbalist will move to the right of the wizard. And he's going to shoot diagonally into the Dread Warrior. Or, uh, Magus Guard. The Elven Dread Warrior. Yep. Yes, card. Thank you, Wardicon. Let's reach the threat level. Two. Nice. This is why real life needs to be like Hero Quest. You should be able to just hit a ghost to the hammer. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> hey, doesn't, doesn't right. everyone just... do that? Yeah, you just dip the hammer in salt and whack away. Yep. All right. Oops. Would help if I typed it in the right place. No proton pack needed. Okay. Cha Ching. No damage. You mean two damage? Oh, no, no black shields. I'm getting tired, clearly. You got him. Awesome. Big difference. <laughs> you killed him. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. Boom. to raise the threat level here. All right, I'll uh, an attempt to use the staff on He's going to take one step in the room and he's going to try to cut down the specter with the short sword. All right, cut him down to size. Black shields, black shields, that's what counts. Oh, too bad it wasn't a double. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was a double, it's just the wrong one. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, take. The glaive moves two spaces to the right, and he's going to attempt to take out the specter. Ha. Nope. Missed. All right, that's it for me. I just watched uh, the Chronicles of Riddick again. Uh, a couple nights ago, and I'm thinking of like how those guys would like warp around. Of course, I guess you could say the Matrix as well. <laughs> Dodge it. Dodge this. All right. Okay. My turn.
All right, I'm going to. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to move this specter. One, two, three. So he's adjacent to two characters who at one time had the ability to use Channel Dread, so he would get plus two and cast it against the monk. Underrated movie, yeah. Yeah, the third one, nah, not, not so great. First one was more like a generic horror movie with a Riddick character. <laughs> Others may disagree. Okay, so, whoops. Okay, so it's plus two, six. Okay, eight. So it does two damage to the monk. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Trap. Your cronies have set up a trap, and one of the heroes stumbles into it. Roll one combat die. If the result is a skull, one hero or henchman of your choice automatically suffers a wound. Dwarf! 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 <laughs> no, I'm going to do it on the monk. All right, so uh, trap comes out of the ceiling and hits him. Okay, so takes one more damage. Now I'm down to three. Because your maximum is six. It's six. Are you saying I didn't uh, restore you to full at the beginning? Of course, you have used Twist and Torrent now, so you can't use it again. Yeah. yeah. Now it really counts. Okay, okay, fine. So you're at three. All right, so I did that with that one character. This guy's already used that. He can't use that. He could use... So he's going to use Channel Dread and gets plus one. Five plus one, six. Take two damage. Now you're down to one. Now, no, yep. Down to one. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Heroes. Okay. Got to stay focused. We can do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to... So I'm going inside the room. Well, I still have idea. I need to roll. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's more than two. You need to you need to roll for it. Yeah. Five. Five. You know? Yes. Wait. By the side of the uh, of the monk and attack diagonally the uh, the cultist. Okay. Let's go. I'm not very good at defending, so. Let's see. Ching! Ah! You thought you had the drop on him, but he came ah. up at the last second. Defended off your attack. Yeah, that's what I should have grabbed. I, ha I have all these mugs now that I hardly ever use. They're mostly just. I guess I just collect them, but I have one that has the Hero Quest symbols on it. I should have brought that one out. Maybe my next uh, fancy stream. The um, striker moves two square north, and the stay put. Striker. All right, Jacer.
Seven for the dwarf. Uh, I guess I'll stand to the left of the halberdier. Yeah, I, don't, I can't really take a shot through two heroes. Uh, so he'll In case just... any room, you have enough space. Uh, well, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. He's got a broadsword for close encounters. Four, five, yeah, but, no, but then I'm leaving him in the room with the wizard when the monk moves. And then there's two, I guess it's better to have two heroes trapped in there than just one. Well, the, the ghost can pass through uh, walls, so being outside or inside the room doesn't make any difference, right? It so, does for when they stand next to each other and cast their dread lights. But, uh, up to you. I guess, I guess put him up next to the away put him one next of the, the, uh, the cult. Taking away one of the cultists uh, is exactly important for that reason. They, you, they will not have the uh, kind of dread light uh, upgrade. Yeah, he won't, he won't be able to get a plus three. He'll only be able to get a mm. possible plus two, but. Yeah, I. Anyway, you still have to attack with the monk and with the blade, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll give it a try. I guess the uh, arbalist can go north of the wizard and attack the cultist. Okay. So sorry. Say again. Which one? The arbalist is going to go above the wizard and attack the cultist. Sheath his broadsword in disguisedly fashion. Oh, thank you, Wardicon. Can't believe I missed that. Thank you. Potion of speed. For no, I missed. Anybody want the potion of speed? Uh, probably the dwarf since it always seems to be slow, but I guess anybody yes. could use it. No, uh, take it. All right. Okay, speed goes to the dwarf. Yeah, he's got quite a few potions now. Okay, Jacer, tell me straight up, do you have for your dwarf a heroic brew, or is that used up? Um... The dwarf, uh, wolf spin, air walk, defense, strength, superior restoration, magic resist, speed, and three plus four potions of healing. No heroic brew. Okay. I think that's just one that uh, I uh, couldn't quite tell if I was erasing it or not. So. No, I have the I have a heroic brew that I crossed off between the air walk and one of the older potions of speed that I used already. Okay. All right. So the arbalist uh, failed. Yep. All right. And if the been monk attacking is... the specter, that would have been a great attack, but no. Yep, it would have been. Uh. The monk is going to drink the potion of strength. There we go. And he's going to go and throw away his disguise and go full fist on all three of those things. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, that's your choice to do that because uh, the potions don't actually ruin your disguise, despite what the app says. But you still want to do that? Yep. Okay, so you're using the air technique or the earth? Yeah, the air one to go all the way around. Okay. And hit all 
all three of those. Wow. All right. Yeah, it's, so it's both cultists, the both cultists die. Wow. Three skulls. <laughs> but the specter survives. There's no way they can roll more enough to get them. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. No. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. So his disguise is gone. Ah, I throw, he throws the what the uh, what was the Clark Kent glasses. Glasses. It yeah. turns into Superman and he opens his shirt. It has an M. It's for Monk on it. <laughs> He's like ah, ah, very ah. very stylized. Ah. Yeah. Pulls off. He's like, hey, you guys, <laughs> and then punches them both in the face. Bam. Okay. <laughs> so one cultist goes down. Another one. Ah, ah. Just lands on the table. Ugh. Okay, and then yeah, there were and no then, black shields, so yeah, nothing to defend for the specter. And then the monk, the twins from uh, the Matrix Reloaded, the ghostly guys. That's another other character that can kind of like warp through things. All right, the monk is gonna roll for movement. Seven. Roadhouse, Peter Griffin. <laughs> Giggle. <laughs> his glasses. You lost his glasses. He can't see anything without his glasses. Jinkies. All right. The monk is going to run over into and open that other door. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. Sure about that. Yeah. All right. Open the door. Behold, the frozen horror is back now. Anything is possible. Okay. Sees a stone wall. That's all he sees through the doorway. Alright, then I take one step out the doorway. Okay. And sees nothing. I still see some. All right, and then I take one step south into that little corner. All right. Nothing happens. All right. The glaive moves one space in the door and attacks that specter diagonally. Ah, black sheep. One. Nothing. Yeah, it's weird because you have to. It's like a black shield to block a black shield. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, got him. All right. Uh, so, last specter, and it's your turn. All right, that specter looks pissed. So it ca immediately casts Channel Dread. Of course, it's a lot weaker than before um, against the Glaive. All right, no whammies. Five. All right, he's alive. For it's one hit. Yeah, one hit. <laughs> I've had worse, he says. Okay, skill card for hero, GM decide. Damn, this room must have been bonkers. I missed it. Well, yeah, it when you had that right combination of characters, the uh, the Dread Cultists and the Spectres power each other up. Okay, skill card for hero. Luck. Um... I think I'll let you guys decide. It's still the GM's choice. <laughs> Who wants the luck? Uh, the dwarf is luck. <laughs> the dwarf is luck? Well, I didn't want to yeah. say that. I was going to yeah. say the, the monk, but... <laughs> wow. 
You choose. Uh, you, no you, no you. I'm, I'm gonna go with the monk. He's got less potions and less life. <laughs> okay. So the monk gets... Luck. Okay, and I was just noticing that the dwarf should actually have four healing potions, right? Yes, I have three, three plus fours and a superior restoration. See, I need to figure out my stream deck, how it works, because I thought it was really easy, but I must be doing something wrong because the buttons don't do anything <laughs> when I assign them, so I'm going to have to reread how to do that. But I was thinking, oh, it'd be so nice, I could just click a button and like update the stuff a lot quicker. But we'll see. I'm sure you can update yeah. it. Yeah. Some way. There's got to be a way. So I just, I probably have to just watch some tutorials. They have tutorials for everything nowadays, but... Yeah, there's like 15 buttons that I could use for hotkeys, which would be great. Hey, sir, I am going to trade you the plus four for a superior, what you want. So, Bohemius, you're saying you want one of his plus fours and you're going to give him something in return? Well, after the fight, we can do the trade. I'm just uh, telling him that I want to do the trade if you want. If yeah, you that, want sounds, that sounds good. I can do that. Yeah, we do the trade later. Monster's like, what? what my, plus, my, my plus four is pretty much a superior healing for you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn though, right? Yes. Yeah, you uh, hit the. Oh, I hit him. Yeah. You hit him for You're one, right. and then you have a chance to move, or. Yeah. Let's see. I know the monk couldn't get far enough to away where you could still get in his line of sight, and then I'm not refreshing my twisting turret, <laughs> but I tried. So I'm gonna go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't go there. It's not explored. Uh, shoot. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess that's the best I can do. All right, hero's turn. There's for the pleasures. Oh, bonus potion. All right, you're gonna use the bonus search or the regular search? We uh. Magic research. Uh, Magic resistance. Which one? Damage or effect? Damage. Damage. I'm thinking probably the monk should have it. Yes. Any objections? No, I agree. <laughs> and then watch, he'll never get attacked by magic again. <laughs> well, since so, I know uh, he has it, it's kind of like, okay, do I just drain all his potions and then attack him or do I just not use it because I know it won't have an effect like chances go up and down okay all right I'll do first the uh the bonus one okay safe search first mysterious flower a rare okay. and lovely elven plant that you know to be edible use as a reagent to craft one potion of dexterity or defense or you could just consume it at any time to give you one body point back. Mysterious flower. Gives an 
emergency healing, basically. Okay, and you want to do and regular? Then we... Yeah. Okay, this one will be the wandering monster, right? Everybody? Of course. Everybody was, heard me say that? No, oh, it's the championship bell. You claimed the championship title. <laughs> now you are the target. All monsters will focus their attacks on the one who holds the bell, brother. You may plant the belt on another hero by moving adjacent and rolling one red die to move away, cashing the belt at the end of the quest to get the reward of 110 gold coins. Jack. All right. So the wizard is now the holder of the championship belt. Okay. Five. Ah, another bonus treasure search. Ten. <laughs> Does he want you to use it? <laughs> well, I guess anybody can use it anytime. Okay, ten. All right, where are you going? Uh, we follow the um. Yeah, we follow the uh, the monk. So enter uh, the corridor, please. Five. Three. Uh, three north. So eight. All right. Let's see what you see. And track. Okay, you just see the wall so far. Nothing else. Nothing else. Right. Uh, two extra squares on the left. Yep. Okay, so you can see across the way. So you can see a door. Yeah, that's that's really all you see at this point. Okay. Uh striker. Uh just pull in my direction can be five square. Oh, the weasel One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Chaser. Chaser. Mighty okay. dwarf. Uh you got a seven. Six. I get, uh, that'll put him right in front of the door. Yep. And let me go hammer. Hammer time. Oh, uh, nothing. Please, hammer, don't hurt him. Okay. Nope, not this time. All right, the... Arbalist will... I grab Tar's hammer! You will be avenged! The Arbalist is going to move six spaces towards the wizard. Okay. Two, 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 five, six. Alright, uh, the monk gets all of the stuff back. Yes, he does. Movement. Oh, only four. Alright, the monk goes two spaces and ends up in that center room and uses the bonus search. Oh, yes. Okay, we ignore that. Sacred plant. Elven healers have been using this me plant medicinally for centuries. Consume it any time to restore one lost mind point. Or it can be used as a reagent to craft one potion of restoration or one holy water. Sacred plant. Alright, it's one sacred plant. Alright, the uh, 
Glaive will move uh, the six pla six spaces towards the uh, towards the wizard. Yep, that will end his turn. End my turn. Now I feel like I should have icons for the mercenaries too, but this is really going to get cramped on the screen. No. All right. I guess you can see on the screen that he's got a wound indicator underneath him. Okay, my turn. All right. That uh, Spectre doesn't like being cornered, so he's going to attack the Dwarf. Nobody put the Spectre in the corner. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Let me just check something here. So armor wise, you're rolling four dice. Or I have a fifty percent chance of doing damage. Yeah, I don't know. Which are better odds? Um I'll just do the the channel dread on it, it depends on, yeah it depends on whether you want to do one two or whether you want to try to do three damage yeah it's like easier damage or harder damage yeah the dwarf's pretty powerful right now yeah. three nothing okay all right let's see one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I think I can do that. Technically, I can't. Okay. Seven. Okay, heroes. Okay, so that should be all the bonus searches. We've used them all. <laughs> Hold uh, one square to the left and check the corridor. All right, you see the rest of the corridor. There's a door here and a Magus guard. And also, you're going to see at the end of the hall, a stone wall there. And a couple of elven archers. Uh, well, I didn't like what I saw in this corridor, so I'm moving back five squares. <laughs> I roll six for movement. <laughs> five. Alright. I think striker move one square to the left. To the left? Uh, to the right, sorry. My bad. All right, Jaser. All right, the dwarf will open the door. Right. The door. Okay, so inside the room you see a merchant and a weapons rack. Okay, so you see a merchant, you see a weapons rack. 
and there are some monsters in the room and they're beating the heck out of this guy they've been throwing him around the room everything is like trashed he's like help help and in the corner of the room there's a trap door I had all these trapdoor tiles and I don't know what I, what I, where I put them. Okay, so that's what you see. Looks like the merchant only has uh, two body points left. He's saying, please help me. All right, well, I rolled the two. So I drink my potion of speed. And I move three spaces to the left to protect the uh, person there. All right. Skeleton uh, takes a takes a big swing, like that's aimed at the merchant, and you like you like stop him, <laughs> you like stop his hand. He's like, "Hey, this is not a year affair." All right. Ah. All right, and then I bash it with a hammer for one. All right. <laughs> Ah, little spirit in you. Good. I'll swallow your soul. Okay. Alright, uh... Right there. Alright, the... Arbalist just moves three spaces south. north of the wizard uh, before he moves he'll use uh, his earth technique and search for traps and secret doors okay in the room at the table mm, yes all right uh, this square looks suspicious all right, glad we didn't step on it. <laughs> yep. All right, so no shortcut to the dwarf. Uh, I will move one space up north of the wizard. All right. Uh... Ah, thank you. Chaos Warrior appears in the hallway. All right, the uh, the glaives gonna move one space uh, inside that room and stay put. Or you know what, the, the, the glaive's going to start, he's going to move six spaces towards the dwarf. Okay. I'm going to put him just in front of the door in that big room. That'll end, that'll end my turn. That'll end the hero's turn. And that's probably oh, it. <laughs> good stop in place, yeah. Okay, yeah, so thank you, uh, Bat Merp, for bringing in the Chaos Warrior at the end there. Um, you guys did pass by this, uh, this hallway, though, didn't you? To get to that door. You had to, to go in yeah. there. The door, too. Yeah, so I should have placed... A wall 
here. Where did he come from? He just dropped down from the ceiling. He blended in with the wall. I didn't notice. <laughs> He's wearing uh, urban camo. Okay, guys. Well, good game. Yeah, uh, sorry. I was a little tired there. They have the heaters turned way up, which I'm grateful for because it's really cold outside, but it makes me a little it, tired. It, it is cold outside. I'm pretty cold. <laughs> yep. 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 But uh, we at least we got uh, one quest down, one quest up. So Pandemonium in the Streets will continue next week. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Ah, sort of me. Sure don't play here. Hey, another hour. Thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if I if I didn't have to get up, I'd say sure. Let's let's do it. But I don't get snow days. Go where? Darn it. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're stuck in by with the snow. <laughs> yeah, but I work from home, so it's like uh, I just. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, it was so cold I couldn't even. All right, guys. Okay, well, you cannot turn on the computer. It, it's frozen. <laughs> My hands are frozen. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we there's anybody we can raid. Too bad about the alerts, though. That really bugged me. I mean, I had, like, new sound effects, like the chaos where it comes in. He's like, ha, 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 ha. You know, <laughs> all this stuff. Now I got to do it. Thankfully, I saved all the files, so it's just kind of a nuisance to have to do it all again. I don't know why it didn't save. It's weird. Yeah, thermometer's reading, like, 34 degrees. Ah, Bengus. Bengus is up. We can always raid him. Yeah, good night. All right. Good night, everyone. Thank Enjoy you. the raid, and uh, have a good, good night. Good, one. good game. Good game. Yep, Zargon's turn next time.